Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. There are many ways to accurately trace an object in Illustrator. One of these methods is using the Gradient Mesh tool. The Gradient Mesh tool will apply a gradient to your trace according to how your mesh has been drawn and what colors you have selected. To show you how this is done, I will be tracing this pair. To begin, trace your object with the Pen tool. Now put your trace on a different layer from your image. I will select my new layer, right click my trace, and select Arrange, Send to Current Layer. Select your mesh tool and click on your outline. A mesh line will appear along your trace. You will want to adjust your line to match the topography of your traced object. Adjust your line by pulling on the provided vector handles the same way you would with your pen tool. Simply click to add more mesh lines. The amount you add will dictate the detail of your trace. Keep in mind that if something about your mesh does not look right, you can always go in and grab the mesh to pull it to your desired shape. Now go to your layer panel. You may toggle the visibility of your layer by holding command while clicking the visibility icon. Doing this allows us to use the eyedropper tool after using the direct selection tool to select a point. Hit the letter A on your keyboard. This is the shortcut for the direct selection arrow. Select a point within your mesh and hit I. This is the shortcut to your eyedropper tool. Use your eyedropper to sample a color from your image near the point you have previously selected. If I change my visibility back to normal, you can see the touch of color that is now in my trace. I will then perform the same operation for every point on my mesh, switching from the direct selection tool back to the eyedropper tool using the shortcuts A and I. Here is how my pair looks after I'm done tracing. I will then use the same method to trace my stem. This is my final product. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like this video, check out my other videos, and subscribe.